So I went and grabbed pothos. So yes, that plant is called pothos. And that plant is called pothos. Today we're about to unveil a secret weapon that will revolutionize your underwater haven. Get ready as we explore the wonders of using pothos plants in your aquarium. Whether you're a beginner or have multi-tank syndrome, this video will introduce you to the game changer that improve the health and well-being of your aquatic babies. So what exactly are pothos plants, you may ask? Well, they are a species of plants scientifically known as Epipremnum aureum. These plants are not only incredibly easy to care for, but they also bring a plethora of advantages to your aquarium. They're a natural filtration system, keeping the water pristine and free from harmful pollutants. These plants possess the extraordinary ability to absorb nitrates and other contaminants, providing a cleaner and healthier fish tank. Native to the tropical regions of Southeast Asia, both those plants belong to the Araceae family. These stunning plants have captured the hearts of both indoor gardeners and aquarium enthusiasts worldwide. What makes pothos plants truly remarkable is their adaptability and ease of care. They are known as low maintenance champions, making them an ideal choice for both beginner and experienced aquarists. These hardy plants thrive in a variety of conditions and can tolerate a range of lighting intensities, from low to bright, making them suitable for a wide array of aquarium setups. With minimal requirements and a forgiving nature, pothos plants are the perfect for those seeking low maintenance plants. Pothos plants truly shine as natural filtration powerhouses, playing a vital role in maintaining water quality within your aquarium. Nitrates are a byproduct of fish waste and decaying organic matter in the aquarium. While low levels of nitrates are tolerable for fish, high concentrations can be detrimental to their health and lead to various issues. Here's where pothos plants step in. Through their roots, pothos plants actively take up nitrates and incorporate them into their growth process. This natural filtration process reduces the nitrate levels in the water, mitigating the potential risks to your fish and promoting a thriving aquatic ecosystem. In addition to nitrates, pothos plants also absorb other pollutants present in the water, such as ammonia and phosphates. These compounds can be harmful to fish, causing stress and negatively impacting their overall well-being. By incorporating pothos plants into your aquarium, you introduce a natural and effective filtration system that works hand in hand with traditional filtration methods. The combination of mechanical and biological filtration, along with the pollutant absorbing abilities of pothos plants, creates a dynamic and efficient system for maintaining optimal water quality. When it comes to placement, I've seen several options that allow you to place the pothos plant roots into the aquarium. One popular method is to hang pothos plants on the aquarium with clips. When considering the placement of pothos plants, it's important to factor in the lighting conditions and growth requirements. Pothos plants are adaptable and can tolerate a range of lighting intensities, from low to bright. However, they tend to thrive in moderate to bright indirect light. You can use artificial aquarium lights to ensure the plants receive the necessary light for optimal growth. Now that you're familiar with the placement options for pothos plants in your aquarium, let's explore how to propagate and maintain them. The most common method of propagation is through stem cuttings. To begin, select a healthy stem with several leaves and make a clean cut just below a node, a point where a leaf is attached to the stem. This node is essential as it contains the necessary cells for root development. To keep your pothos plants thriving, regular maintenance is essential. Trimming is a key aspect of maintenance, allowing you to control the growth and shape of the plants. As pothos plants are fast growers, they may require occasional pruning to prevent them from overshadowing other plants or blocking the light. Another common issue that may occur with pothos plants is leaf yellowing or rotting. This can be caused by several factors, but the most common is nutrient deficiencies. Addressing these issues promptly will help maintain healthy pothos plants in your aquarium. 